Daluo Dalu Chapter 4, Otherworldly Tang San's First Hidden Weapon Part 1 Early morning, Tang San returned feeling refreshed from the mountaintop to make breakfast. Since he used purple demon eye every day, and also unceasingly cultivated in the morning, purple demon eye had already made significant progress compared to before. His eyesight was already capable of clearly seeing the minute motion of a mosquito flapping its wings within 10 meters. If not for mysterious heaven skill being unable to break through the bottleneck, Tang San believed, his progress in other aspects would be even greater. Forging a 50 square centimeter block of pig iron into fist size, that task which was seemingly impossible at first, had already been accomplished by Tang San as early as half a month ago. With the force leveraging method Tang Hao taught him, he was also capable of more than 24 hammer swings, every swing with flawless precision, including control of force. Although all along Tang Hao never had any praise for him, but since his father once in a while unintentionally revealed it, Tang San knew that this hammer method also had some small accomplishment at last, and again thought it was still important to depend on unceasing practice. At once entering the door, Lightly touching his wrist, Tang San's face showed a trace of a satisfied smile, on his wrist was attached his first work since arriving in this world, and every step was completed by him on his own. That was a spring-loaded dart concealed in his sleeve. When speaking about Tang sect in the first place, the concealed dart is the most ordinary kind of hidden weapon. The key to manufacturing the concealed dart depends on the power of the mechanism as well as the degree of ingenuity of the design. Tang San's manufactured sleeve dart was even equipped with a safety device, so no accidental injury was possible. One set of sleeve darts was just like three arrows made to fit in a sleeve, even now it was without exception on Tang San's hand. The material for this sleeve dart had consumed exactly that chunk of pig iron he had hammered for nearly a hundred days. Just as Tang San delivered the completed task to Tang Hao, when he held that fist sized chunk of completely forged pig iron, he was shocked to discover that the piece of pig iron that originally had contained numerous impurities had changed into a chunk of iron mother, genuine iron mother. In his previous life, let alone him, even if it was Tang Sek's best forging grandmaster, he could not accomplish this method to forge common pig iron into iron mother. But in this world it was reality. This in itself was an extremely inconceivable matter. This sleeve dart on Tang San's wrist was made from that chunk of iron mother. To completely manufacture the sleeve dart, including three 10 cm small arrows inside, he used all the iron mother he had. Speaking of forging, Tang San was no good, far inferior to Tang Hao. But when speaking about making clever hidden weapons, let alone Tang Hao, perhaps all of Doluo continent did not have anyone who could compare to his Tang outer sect genius. Ordinary sleeve darts had a range of 15 meters or so, but the sleeve dart made by Tang San could maintain an effective attack range of over 30 meters. What is called effective attack range, is exactly the sleeve dart emission distance in a straight line, it is also exactly the distance where the weapon is fully able to kill or wound. Tang San's sleeve darts, even though only three, were made extremely ingeniously. On each sleeve dart were three blood grooves. If not because of the size being too small, he still thought to give the sleeve dart arrowheads barbs. The tail had four tiny fletchings that could cause the sleeve dart to fly extremely smoothly. The tapered arrowhead was spiral rifled, so that when the sleeve dart was launched it possessed even stronger piercing power. Making designs for hidden weapons, Tang San was always pursuing perfection, even though this was only a single ordinary sleeve dart, nothing more. Tang San knew that he was still young right now, mysterious heaven skill also could not break through the bottleneck. Even if he was an ordinary person he could not say he was worried, only in case he encountered a spirit master like Su Yun Tao who could use spirits would his strength be far from enough. But with this sleeve dart it was different, Tang San believed that depending on it, even if his actual strength was not more powerful than a spirit master, he had ways to deal with it all. A Pound A.A. Tang Sect Mysterious Heaven Treasure Record, General Principles Second Point, What Are Hidden Weapons, Employed Surreptitiously, A Special Martial Weapon to Vanquish the Enemy and Obtain Victory. 
If the enemy knows you want to use it, like that, it is no longer a hidden weapon, rather an overt weapon a pound a a euro. Tang San of course could not let his hidden weapon become an overt weapon. Tang Hao also never bothered about what he used this chunk of iron mother for, therefore this sleeve dart was a secret that belonged to him alone. Entering the house, the appetizing smell of kanji wafted out, the same as he made every day, and had already long since become used to. Dad, come eat. Tang San called towards the inner room. Unusually, the Tang Hao who appeared every day when he heard about food was nowhere to be seen today. Tang San's heart at once tightened, was his dad ill? He hastily took three steps and ran two steps towards his father's room. Tang Hao wasn't in the room. In however many years, this was the first time he was not still sleeping in. When Tang San was in the middle of thinking over where Tang Hao could have gone, Tang Hao returned. Little San, where on earth did you go this early in the morning? Tang Hao coolly asked. Tang San said. I went out for exercise. Every morning I go out for a run. This did not count as a lie, he truly did go out to EO exercise. Oh. Tang Hao did not try to dig deeper, and coolly said. Today you won't practice forging again. Get your things ready, tomorrow old Jack will take you to Nyuting City. Tang San was dumbfounded for a moment. Nyuting City? Why on earth there? The last time he had gone to Nyuting City was roughly a year ago. Old Jack went into town to do some shopping, and brought him along to let him experience it. Tang Hao gave him a look, and said. Do you not want to study spirit master abilities? Old Jack can take you to Nyuting City's primary spirit master academy to become a working student. There you can study whatever you want. Hearing his father's words, Tang San's pulse suddenly sped up, and he found it difficult to speak from the surprise and excitement he felt. Mysterious Heaven Skill's inability to break through had all along been a puzzle that was his greatest preoccupation, a spirit master's spirit ring was clearly an opportunity. Dad, what changed your mind? Tang Hao returned with a question. Do you still want to go or not? Tang San said. But if I leave, nobody will make you food. By now he already understood the reason why his father had gotten up this early in the morning, unexpectedly, it had been to see village elder Jack. Part 2 Tang Hao coldly said. Do I still need you to look after me? You just leave. This is your chosen path. Every year Holy Spirit Village has a quota of one, do not waste it. I have handed over the forging methods to you, so you can look for work as an apprentice in a smithy in town. It should be enough to cover tuition and food expenses. Even though Tang Hao's words were very indifferent, but the edges of Tang San's eyes still felt hot. For who knows how many months, even though Tang Hao treated him in a manner that certainly never changed, but Tang Hao taught him forging, the tall white ashen man before his eyes already gave him an increasingly paternal feeling. He of course wanted to go study the lore of spirit masters, but at this moment he somewhat hated to part with his father. Tang Hao said. Letting you go to Nyuting comes with a condition. If you agree you may go. I promise. Tang San spoke without the slightest hesitation. Tang Hao's brows wrinkled slightly. You will promise easily without even asking what I demand. As a man, promised matters must be done, do not become a person who promises lightly. Tang San spoke at ease. No matter what Dad asks me to do, I will promise. Dad definitely acts for my good. Tang Hao was slightly panicked. Tang San spoke without thinking but it was precisely that trust which caused his feelings to stir a little. From now on no matter how you cultivate your spirit power, I want you to promise, you must not let your hammer spirit absorb any spirit ring, so much so that you cannot let another person see it appear. Moreover, do not let other people know that you have twin spirits. Can you do this? Tang San was stunned for a moment, that blue silver grass spirit then. Tang Hao said. The blue silver grass spirit you can use as you please, cultivating, exerting whatever spirit is also no problem. 
With twin spirits both spirits do not need to rely on spirit rings to promote spirit power to be able to cultivate. Provided you have one spirit that possesses a spirit ring, the spirit power promotion bottleneck will disappear. Tang San said. So in other words, from now on I only use blue silver grass spirit, right? Tang Hao nodded. Only if you encounter a life-threatening situation. Otherwise, do not use that hammer. Very well, I promise you. Tang San nodded solemnly. From his point of view, cultivating a spirit or not, using some spirit ring, it was all no problem, as long as he could find the means to break through mysterious heaven skills bottleneck. To other people it seemed, perhaps blue silver grass was only a useless spirit, but Tang San had all along not become gloomy because of blue silver grass. Cultivating Tang sect hidden weapons to a certain level, Eoe when picking the fluttering flower the leaf can also hurt were not some empty words, but simply truly existed. Blue silver grass was exactly mysterious heaven skill internal force condensed by means of spirit power. As long as the internal force was sufficient, there were practically limitless hidden weapons. Good, let's eat. Tang Hao said. In a home not much different from destitute. Tang San did not have anything at all good to prepare. Packing those clothes with various sized patches he had took only a moment to finish. However, this day he did not listen to Tang Hao to only put things in order, forging sounds still resounded in his room. For the sake of being able to produce every kind of hidden weapon in the future, Tang San understood he could only depend on himself for everything. Though his father had passed on the forging technique it was definitely essential to put in more practice. When the hidden weapon's unique skill was not cultivated to its pinnacle, the hidden weapon's quality just had its own conclusive effect. Particularly for a kind of super hidden weapon like Buddha Fury Tang Lotus, an error in precision of more than an iota could not appear. The passage of this one day seemed particularly endless. It was also the first time since Tang San arrived in this world that he felt ill at ease. Concerning the outside world, he had both expectations and some fear. Whether in Tang sect or in Holy Spirit Village, he had never gone out to undergo experience and training. Regarding this point, he truly was no different from the children. All along he thought, after all what brilliance could the outside world produce? After supper, Tang Hao left without a word to go out drinking, as if there was nothing different from the routine. He told Tang San not to make noise and disturb his sleep when he went out for his morning run the next morning. Early morning, Tang San sat atop a large rock on the summit of the hill. In his hand he picked up tree leaves, in his eyes a purple luster. Not knowing whether it was because recently his body was more robust and strong compared to before, but purple demon eye advanced very rapidly, the leaf in his hand, even if it was the smallest lines, he could distinctly observe them. He knew his purple demon eye had already begun to enter the realm of the very finest details. With nine distinct tiers to mysterious heaven skill, purple demon eye only has four levels, survey, detailed, mustard seed, boundless. The requirement for Tang intersect disciples is to enter detailed which is sufficient to use hidden weapons. Owing to Tang San's early cultivation, aided by not having completely dispersed in born Qi after being born, by the age of six years he already possessed a trace of detailed perception. But he also knew, of Tang intersect disciples practically everyone's purple demon eye could reach the detailed realm, but including sect master Mr. Tang De, nobody could enter the next realm of purple demon eye. After reaching detailed, Purple Demon Eye's cultivation became extremely slow, and there must be no interruption in daily assimilation of the Eastern Purple Chi. That kind of persistence could not be explained in a few words. Therefore, just like Tang sect disciples after entering the detailed realm, there were also very few who would continue cultivating. In legend, Tang sect had an elder whose Purple Demon Eye reached the mustard seed boundary, but also did not have any particular results. Only compared to the detailed realm he saw still a little more clearly, that is all. And that elder had already cultivated purple demon eye for more than thirty years. Mysterious heaven skill welling forth, suddenly pouring into the tree leaves, 
the soft leaves immediately became perfectly straight. Tang San's index and middle finger jerked slightly, and the tree leaves spun out, splitting the air as they flew forth. Part 3 Just one meter, the leaves only flew out to a one meter distance, then were already unable to maintain their rotating state when they stopped being hard. As it left Tang San's finger, mysterious heaven skill's inner strength effect naturally vanished. The effect is still too weak. He could not help but shake his head. Tang San stood up, it was about time to return. Today was his departure from the village, he did not know when he would be able to come to this hilltop again. Standing on tiptoes, his lower legs emitting force, Tang San gave free rein to Ghost Shadow perplexing track, faced down the mountain and left. The intimately familiar scent of Kanji wafted out. Before departing the village this was the very last time he cooked for his father so Tang San naturally could not be lazy. Checking the firewood under the stove, adding some water to the kanji, thus when his father later wakes up he can drink the hot kanji. Old Jack had already arrived. Perhaps because he wanted to leave for Nuding City, today the clothes Old Jack wore were especially new, making him look even more hale and hearty. Little San, let's leave. That idle bum of a father of yours can't get out of bed. Old Jack called to Tang San. Tang San made a silencing gesture in Jack's direction. Grandpa, please be quiet. Dad dislikes having his sleep disturbed the most. While speaking, he took out a chunk of burnt-out charcoal from the stove, and on the ground wrote several lines. He again turned his head towards his father's room, reluctant to part, and only then did he rise with a cloth bundle on his back and quietly left with Jack. Regarding this world's written language, Tang San did not understand much. When the village's school taught the children characters, he once in a while went to see. After all he had a foundation from his former life, so he also grasped a little of the basic texts. The door curtain lifted, and a large shadow came out from the room. In Tang Hao's eyes there was no trace of sleep. When he walked over to the doorway, he could still vaguely see old Jack and Tang San's frail body. Tang Hao stood there and didn't move, even when Tang San and village elder Jack's backs had already completely disappeared, he still stood there blankly for a long time. As if recalling something, Tang Hao abruptly turned back into the smithy, looking at the part of the ground Tang San set aside for his writing. A few very simple words. Dad, I and Grandpa Jack left. You yourself must take good care of your body, drink less. Kanji in the pot, don't forget to eat. Gaze changing direction from the writing on the ground to the iron cooking pot to the side, Tang Hao briskly walked over and swept open the pot lid by one handle. With both hands he directly lifted the iron pot. Thanks to Tang San just now adding water, the kanji in the pot still had not been brought to a boil again but Tang Hao regardless held the iron pot and poured it into his mouth, gulping swallows. In his eyes was a layer of hazy mist, he didn't realize how quickly time had passed. Walking along the road, Tang San silently followed by old Jack's side, frequently turning his head back to look in the direction of the village. Little San, do you hate to part with the village or still hate to part with that drunkard old man of yours? Jack patted Tang San's head and asked with a smile. A bit of both. Tang San replied in a low voice. Jack smiled slightly, and said. Compared to those however many good-for-nothing grandsons, you, my child are far more intelligent. It would be so good if you were my grandson. Tang how that drunkard truly is fortunate. Do not think too much, outside, heaven and earth are very vast. At the academy you can get to know very many friends. You can learn very many things. After you have become a spirit master, the country will grant a monthly stipend, and at that time your family will also be able to live well. Tang San was after all a person who had gained a second life, listening to Jack's words, his mood already gradually recovered to normal, and in his heart was an unbearable thirst for the outside world. He asked. Grandpa Jack. Can you tell me about the academy? What kind of place is it exactly? Jack smiled a bit, and said. 
The academy is of course a place to study. Although I never went, but for the most part I still understand. Our village has a quota to send one working student every year, but we have already for very many years not sent a working student to study. Working students still have very many favorable terms, exemption from tuition and accommodation fees, just paying for food yourself is sufficient. On the campus you can perform simple jobs in exchange for edibles. For example, sweeping classrooms, and so on. Speaking overall, to a student who is working part-time and studying at the academy it does not differ much from being free of charge. As for funding to study at the academy, it is not something we poor people can be able to bear. Tang San said. Dad told me, after I finally arrive at the academy to find a smithy for work. You? Doing manual work at a smithy? What joke is that? I see Tang Hao truly is insane. Old Jack said angrily. Just how old are you? You still do not have the height of a forging hammer. What smithy could accept you, this kind of apprentice? Not to mention, blacksmithing originally is not exactly accepted as a valued occupation, manual work also does not have much of an income. As long as you study properly at the academy, that is enough. Only, come to think of it. If you are able to have some accomplishments to speak of at the academy, that drunkard father of yours should give you some of his little saved money. But afterwards the Intermediate Spirit Master Academy has no working student quota that indeed requires a lot of money to be able to study. A Spirit Master stipend alone is far from enough. Since Tang San had innate full spirit power, old Jack already saw him as a Spirit Master without doubt. Tang San looked at Jack unconvinced, and said. There is still an Intermediate Spirit Master Academy? And what is the difference compared to the Elementary Spirit Master Academy? Both are academies, they should both be teaching Spirit Master lore, right? Old Jack explained with great patience. Naturally there is not only one kind. The Elementary Spirit Master Academy teaches a few basic things, and additionally you can study some educational courses. They only accept children who have just awakened their spirits as students and the length of the schooling is six years, so by the time they are twelve, in the event they do not have any prospects to speak of, they also become ordinary spirit masters. But in the event that their latent talent is pretty good, the majority of people can opt to go to take advanced studies at the Intermediate Spirit Master Academy, continuously studying until becoming eighteen years old. The Intermediate Spirit Master Academy teaches some advanced things, but the difficulty of the studies rises enormously. In case they are unable to reach the academy requirements, they will be unable to successfully graduate. This is different compared to the Elementary Spirit Master Academy. Part 4 Tang San said Like elementary and intermediate, is there also an advanced? Old Jack nodded his eyes revealing a somewhat admiring glint. You need not think about the Advanced Spirit Master Academy since that is not something that practically anyone can enter. In our Heaven Do Empire, there are altogether only two Advanced Spirit Master Academies, and every year the number of students accepted number less than a hundred. That is indeed the cradle of a brilliant career. Even the nation's spirit hall will strive to directly confer a noble title upon every student who graduates from an advanced spirit master academy. Noble? There is such a good possibility. Tang San said, astonished. Old Jack said. Of course. Spirit master is indeed the noblest vocation, and advanced spirit master even more so. But those are all talents. Therefore, to us common people who dream to have a meteoric rise, becoming an advanced spirit master is obviously the best shortcut. Only, coming from the ordinary common people, how many people have the ability to become such a great spirit master? Even if there were any, without the assistance of a distinguished clan it is very difficult to graduate from an advanced spirit master academy. A graduation exam is its own matter, so why is the assistance of other people needed? Tang San was somewhat confused. Old Jack heaved a sigh, and said. This is exactly the gap. The gap between poor people and wealthy people, between commoners and nobles. 
The Elementary Spirit Master Academy graduation requirements are very simple, as long as the spirit reaches the 10th rank, the teachers at the academy will guide you to obtain a spirit ring, and you can successfully advance your Spirit Master title. This certainly isn't difficult, provided you have spirit power at the time of awakening, it is something children can do. It is said, advancing from Spirit Scholar to Spirit Master at 10th rank Spirit Power is the easiest promotion. But at the Intermediate Spirit Master Academy it is different. To graduate from this place, the spirit must have reached the 20th rank and furthermore obtain the second spirit ring to be able to attain the spirit grand master title. 10th rank to 20th rank, is something very many spirit masters are unable to achieve in their entire life. Also, after reaching the 20th rank, to obtain the spirit ring they must depend on their own strength to hunt and kill a spirit beast and obtain a spirit ring. That is indeed extremely perilous. If they are descended from a noble family, and accompanied by family warriors, the danger is naturally much smaller. Spirit masters descended from common people like us can only depend on themselves. The graduation requirements of an advanced spirit master academy are even more exacting. Only after passing the 30th rank bottleneck, and obtaining the third spirit ring, can the spirit grand master title be promoted to the spirit elder title. They say that one who surmounts the 30th rank threshold can be called a powerful great spirit master, a genuine noble. To also go beyond is certainly difficult. Also, at the 30th rank obtaining a spirit ring seems like it is not the only restriction. For the specifics, you should be able to learn when you reach the academy. At any rate, of those advanced spirit master academy students, the quantity who are still really able to graduate seems to be only a third. After listening to old Jack, Tang San had a basic understanding of Duluo Continent's spirit masters. Grandpa Jack, didn't you say that there are ten spirit master titles? Advanced spirit master academy graduating students can be spirit elders, how can those later titles be obtained? Old Jack spoke with a wry smile. I know how. Those transcending the spirit elder title can all be called great personages, like the spirit saint that came from our village who at that time was supported directly by the country. I have heard people say that spirit master cultivation later on is exceedingly difficult, and also exceedingly dangerous. How many people possess the kind of genuine ability that can reach the top level of title Duluo? You could even say that it is not known whether such people exist in both our Heaven Do Empire and the Star Luo Empire right now. Old Jack only had some simple understanding regarding spirit masters, nothing more. Hence his words were not detailed. Tang San understood that he could only search for this knowledge himself in the academy. In particular, about spirit beasts, spirit rings and such things. From Holy Spirit Village to Nyuting City was certainly not far, two people walking could reach it in half a day's time. Eating some simple travel rations halfway, by afternoon they could already see the city walls in the distance. Even though Nyuting City was not counted as a large city, because it was very close to Heaven Do Empire's border the city walls were still built thick. Tang San and Old Jack were examined like all the other travelers when entering Nyuting City. Tang San ah. In a moment Grandpa will take you to the academy and then return. When you are alone at the academy you must listen to your teachers, you must not leave the academy without permission. When the semester ends, Grandpa Jack will again come to meet you. That time will be almost at the new year. This was after all the first time Tang San left home. In his heart he was somewhat flustered, and subconsciously said. Grandpa Jack, you are leaving this soon. Old Jack said with a wry smile. A hotel is not for us poor people to stay in. You must try to win credit. When Grandpa sees you next time, I hope you will already have become a spirit master so that you can be the pride of our Holy Spirit Village. Nyuting Primary Spirit Master Academy was located in West Nyuting City. Old Jack asked passers-by for directions several times, and at long last Tang San was brought there. Distantly, they could already see a large gate arch. The arch was 20 meters wide, and its height was over 10 meters, made of solid rock. Below were two iron gates, jet black. 
Tang San saw they had been meticulously forged. Through the iron bars, a winding path could be seen. A main road led directly inside, lined with trees on both sides. In the middle of the arched gate were four large characters, Nyuting Academy. Just from the gate it could be seen that on Doluo continent, the vocation of Spirit Master was significant. This was still only a primary Spirit Master Academy, nothing more. Old Jack brought Tang San walking up to the front gate, and they were immediately stopped by the young gatekeeper. What on earth? Is this a place where you country bumpkins can enter? Old Jack's apparel counted as bright and new in Holy Spirit Village, but arriving in Nyuting City, it completely had the appearance of a country bumpkin. The gatekeeper had in his eyes a somewhat disdainful look. Part 5 Old Jack said with an apologetic smile. This? Little brother, we have come from Holy Spirit Village. This child is our village's working student for this year, you see. We need to go through. The gatekeeper frowned, and somewhat queerly said. So a grass nest can still produce a golden phoenix? A tiny village also has people with spirit power? But the academy has not had a working student for a good many years. You cannot fake it. A trace of anger flashed in old Jack's eyes, but he still swallowed the insult and held out the certificate written by that spirit hall attendant Su Yun Tao, handing it to the gatekeeper. The gatekeeper took the proffered certificate, and looked it over from top to bottom. Spirit is blue silver grass? But still innate full spirit power? Ridiculous, this really is the biggest joke in the world. I have worked as gatekeeper at the academy for four years, and still haven't heard of a student with innate full spirit power. This boy's spirit is blue silver grass, and can still have full spirit power? I think this spirit hall certificate is definitely a forgery. You. Even if Jack had a better temperament, at this moment he was already unable to restrain himself. You are intentionally making things difficult. Very well, you wait and see. I'll go find a Lord Spirit Hall attendant. Little San, we're leaving. Saying this, Jack brought Tang San around and left in the direction of the inner city wall. Spirit Hall certificates naturally could not be faked, which that gatekeeper well knew. However, people coming to deliver new students generally would leave a little appreciation, especially common families. What is called Eoebitor King Yama, than an unreasonable little devil, just this principle. Old Jack was descended from a country village and even though he was a village elder, where could he learn these ways? The gatekeeper in his heart was somewhat uneasy. If a person from Spirit Hall truly came, he could bear the responsibility. Of course, he believed that there was no way a Spirit Hall person would come to ask questions for the sake of these two hicks. With his heart gloomy, the words from his mouth naturally did not sound good. What Holy Spirit Village, I think Beggar Village should also be similar. What did you say? Old Jack fiercely turned around. The gatekeeper's words could be said to have struck at his heart's biggest pride, originally this was the reason he fell out with Tang Hao. That this gatekeeper right now was an outsider from the village, made him even more intolerable. Walking back several steps he glared at the gatekeeper. The gatekeeper jumped in fright due to fierce old Jack, and could not help but retreat a step. However he very quickly reacted and came over, in his heart secretly cursing himself. Wasn't that an old man? What did he have to fear? What? Not convinced ah, I said you came from beggar village. What's wrong? You look at this little destitute spirit, all the clothes are completely patched. I think, you are still looking for a place to go begging, right? Arnyuting Academy is not a charity. Quickly beat it, quickly beat it. While speaking, the gatekeeper lifted his left hand and shoved Jack's chest, about to drive the two people away. Just when old Jack was about to have a heart attack from fury, suddenly, between the two people was a thin and small figure. Similarly with the left arm raised, that delicate little hand barely managed to reach the gatekeeper's hand, left hand exerting to the right, and at once pushed away the gatekeeper's left hand. Simultaneously, that thin and small figure's right foot took a quick step forward, 
the sole just happening to step behind the gatekeeper's left foot, while lifting the right hand, and with the left hand together pressing that gatekeeper's hand down. Originally this palm strike was about to hit the other party's left elbow, causing him to be unable to emit strength, but due to the difference in size, it therefore could only hold the gatekeeper's wrist. His motion extremely fast, body at the same time moving forward, both hands swinging the gatekeeper's left hand while pushing forward. Just right to push the gatekeeper's lower abdomen. Behind the gatekeeper's left foot was just another foot, and even though that foot was far from big, it was already enough to accomplish the proper effect. The lower belly received the force, the foot below stirred, and with just an ordinary sound, the gatekeeper already sat on the ground. Little San, you. Jack looked dumbstruck at the person in front of him blocking his body. The one who displayed his skill was precisely Tang San. The form he used was not even Tang Sek's secret lore, originally in that world it was only martial arts simplest form full moon pushing the window. Of course, with his body's stature, naturally it would be out of shape. Not only was he unable to reach the opponent's elbow, the hand that originally should push the opponent's chest pushed at the lower abdomen. Though of course, the result was the same. Although Tang San's person was not big, his physical strength was absolutely not small. After these however many months of swinging the hammer, even if he did not use mysterious heaven skill, he could still tip over the gatekeeper. Stinking brat, you are looking to die. To lose face by being toppled by a child made the gatekeeper violently furious. Scrambling up off the ground he was about to charge into Tang San. All right, stay your hands, okay. Just then, a rather hoarse-sounding voice rose, stopping the gatekeeper's movement. The gatekeeper was at first dazed for a moment, then immediately following, the anger across his entire face suddenly transformed into fawning. The change was so quick, it was hard to imagine. Bowing and scraping towards the speaker he said. Grand Master, you have returned. Tang San turned his head to look, an average of figure, somewhat thin-looking man had at some point already come to their side. It would seem, this person appearing forty to fifty years old, with short black hair with three-seven separation, very ordinary looks, both hands held behind his back. His body possessed a kind of peculiar manner, with both eyes half open he seemed a bit sluggish and dispirited. Eo Grand Master only glanced at the gatekeeper, without taking any notice of him, saying towards Old Jack. Old gentleman, is it possible for me to have a look at the Spirit Hall certificate? Old Jack after all was a village elder and could still read a person's mood. From the gatekeeper's expression he could see that this middle-aged person absolutely was not ranked low at this academy, and even more held the title of Grand Master there. The Grand Master looked over the certificate his gaze again shifting to Tang San, measuring him up and down. For some reason, although the Grand Master's gaze certainly was not sharp, Tang San had a feeling as if it saw through him completely. There is nothing wrong with the certificate, old gentleman, for this matter just now let me apologize on behalf of the Academy. Deliver this child to me, okay? 